<laughs> What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How you guys doing? Today is going to be exciting. Uh, I'm working on my boy Luis's Corvette. That's a C7. We're going to be installing headers. So let's go meet him at the gas station and then we're heading over to the Pops to get it done. Let's go. You all got my seen him on the last couple videos ago. All right. Yes, sir. Uh, so we just here at the Pops house. Nice and early. What's your day? These headers are going in. You excited? Oh, yeah. That's what's up. It's going to be a bitch to do this job. <laughs> All right, so we got the vet pulled in. We're going to go ahead and get these covers off. And then we're trying to just let it cool off, get it jacked up in the air. And then we'll start by removing the wires and plugs. And then loosening up the bolts. Then go underneath and get the bottom of the exhaust dropped. But man, this guy needs to clean his engine bay. Shame to Corvette owners. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My shit's dirty as hell, too. So, you want to pop this right here so we can see what we're looking at? And as one of my homies would say, we got some long peepas right here with the off-road X-pipe. Let's go. It's going to sound like a monster. Okay, so first you got to start by unplugging the battery because you have to completely remove the fuse box. So it's right here, which is simple, and then we gotta take out the tray. And then from there, we took off the little engine covers, pulled the wires out, and so it looks like we're gonna be able to work around without pulling the spark plugs like we had to do on the C6. Um, right now, I just hit it with some PV blaster. So um, that hopefully we don't snap any bolts. They look like they're gonna be a little bit tight, but nothing too crazy. Uh, I'm gonna get these all loosened. Once they've gotten them loosened, I will then, be lifting the car up will go underneath and then should be pretty straightforward after that really the difficult part is just going to be unbolting these headers really so making great progress and then also this is supposed to be a difficult bolt to get to you're supposed to remove the alternator but hopefully we got some jank swivel tools that'll work and we'll get up in there <laughs> all right we're here under the c7 right now and undoing the heat shield so that we can get to the cats and then we're gonna unbolt them and then that's pretty much it take the o2s off and then try to drop the actual exhaust manifolds and we'll see so we're getting there slowly this car was not easy to jack up though this was pain in the butt a lot heavier than it looks all right, so we got the stock exhaust out. It is kicking my butt over here. But there we go. We got the um, stock exhaust manifold with the cat. Here's what's going to be going in. Um, so we can get a look right here. You know, so, yep, we were able to leave the um, spark plugs in. But what a pain in the butt getting some of the bolts on the cats. Definitely had to do a lot of mix matching, but here you go. You can see. So it should be pretty straightforward just um got to rerun the new headers up in and then bolt it up and then should be about it but yeah so far he's kicking my butt on the ground but nothing too crazy can't handle so man it's getting hot out here this is a sexy car though i tell you what a lot of bolts <laughs> all right well when we come back, I'll have the headers in, and then we'll just be doing the, basically buttoning it up, reinstalling, make sure everything's good. So, all right. Okay, and we got it all buttoned up in here, and we went ahead and got all the bottom buttoned up, and the heat shield put back on, and the cover plate, and getting all the tools out of the way now, and, um, Basically, we're going to drop it down on the ground, plug the battery in, and hear this thing roar. But yeah, here they are. You can see. Got the headers in. Looks good. Looks good. 
Um, it only took us, oh, what do you think, five hours with bullshitting and stopping for breaks. Yeah. So not too bad. The stock pieces of shit. So yeah, had to do a little bit of cutting on some stuff. But overall, this was a easy job. So can't wait to start it. I'll be back with you guys momentarily. All right, and here's here it is, cold start. Let's hit it, Luis. Woo! Fucking battery died. No, it shouldn't be dead. Try it again. That's not Taking it first, first little test spin. See what it sounds like here. You want to hold the cam for me? Okay. Just hold it right here like that. Okay. So, is it in sport mode or how do we? Yeah, it's, it's. I always keep it in sport mode. Okay. Cool. Oh wait, no, it's actually not because you switched it. Okay, there we go. Sport and manual. Okay, so. thing screams if you have a c7 you better put straight pipe on it with long tube headers oh so. my vet looking saucy we might have gotten a misfire going on the c7 right now because it has no cats now with no tune right now so hopefully it'll be all right but we'll see what happens right now he's test driving it again That's the only way you're gonna know. It needs to either clear up. Ooh. All right, so it looks like cylinder two, the uh, wire had popped off for some reason. Uh, it's because it kind of touches the header right there. So he's gonna need to order some special type of wires for these, but as of right now, there's no codes and it's running right now, so no more misfiring. Just kind of weird, random little thing, but we're doing good. Yeah, and there's no check engine light now, so drive it again. Drive it again? Drive it again, don't get lost. Land.
Ooh, look who showed up all nice and clean. The F10. Mm-hmm. Well, looking saucy. <laughs> and it's getting hot out here. All right, and that's gonna do it for us today. The overall install on that C7 was pretty simple. I feel like there was only two bolts that really gave me an issue, and that was from the exhaust manifold to the cat. There was two bolts, um, 15s, that you have to use an open-end wrench at least that's from my understanding what you need to do and you're right next to the frame so i had to get in there with like a pry bar and i had to work it a little bit you know but uh, at the end of the day it was pretty simple and then um the little mishap at the end with the misfiring one of the uh spark plug wires popped off on cylinder number two and that's the only one that didn't actually seat back right without touching the exhaust manifold the header you know um and so that's because he didn't order aftermarket wires so i was able to wrap it up a little bit and make it work and he hasn't had an issue so that's good um so but yeah he's going to be ordering that and then i'll probably install it for him but overall good stuff the car sounds amazing looks good so i'm very happy and uh he's happy that's all that really matters so uh but also just need to do a little recap as of right now the Corvette, that is the last time you guys will see the Corvette. I have currently sold the Corvette. So, yes, sad day. Corvette is sold. I know it was going to go pro-charged. I had all the money after I sold the bike. I was going to pro-charge it. Um, but at the end of the day, I decided to go a different route, something different. Um, so, I did go ahead and sell the Corvette. Also, I know it's shocking, but I sold the 335 as well, too. <laughs> so, the bike, the 335 and the corvette has all been sold so why well there's a new car coming and i'm flying to houston texas to pick it up so from california so i'm going to be documenting that and uh, i'm going to be doing the reveal here on youtube so for you that are following along and watching my videos you'll be the first one to find out what car i am purchasing and uh you know go ahead and try to guess what i'm getting but it's definitely something along the lines of what i'm used to something that was on my channel back in the day so if you go back in my old videos you might be able to see what i'm talking about but it's something newer that's a little hint um other than that yeah so updates with the m5 well the bees f10 um we were gonna wrap it um but we decided to go against wrapping it because she is going to be in the process of selling that car as well because she's looking into getting either the m4 or the actual m5 and then the wrap will be applied then so that's a few months down the line though so yeah definitely trying to up the cars and the and the content that we're doing so um for youtube purposes like that so yeah so there you guys have it the vet's gone bmw's gone the bike's gone and the F10's on its way out the door. <laughs> and uh, But something new. The next video will have it. Um, yeah. So, hope you guys like that little install, though, with the C7. Luis is a cool guy. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned. We got some cool content coming up. I appreciate everybody who's been, you know, following along and, you know, watching my videos and stuff. I see a lot of people send uh, pictures to me that they're watching my stuff, and I really appreciate it. So, it's really cool. So, thanks again, you guys. And for those of you that are new, please like, comment, and subscribe because some crazy stuff's about to start hitting this channel. So, heck yeah. All right, you guys. Stay up. See you guys next time. You.